So there's all the code from earlier, which has got its own switch. And this bit of code here is just for uh, when the actual switch is, is pressed. So what do you want to do if the button is pressed in menu number one? Well, what we need to do is we need to find out the voltage of the cell. So the preload voltage, which is this here. So if the insert cell uh, menu is on and they've pressed the button, then we need to check the voltage of the cell. So let's see. We don't really need the serial at this serial console at this point. Um, so we get the preload voltage. And I think we said, I'll just have to look at my my paper. Yeah, if the cell is 3 volts or greater, then go to menu 2. Or if not, go to menu 3. The cell no good thing. So if um, the preload voltage is uh, greater or equal 3, then... T control S then current menu uh, plus plus really current menu plus plus otherwise if it's not greater or equal to 3 then it needs to be uh, 3 so current menu equals 3 so what's happening here is we're on menu one and the button has been pressed so we get the voltage and if the voltage of the cell is greater or equal to three then we go to the next menu which is the voltage is this if the voltage is not greater than three in other words it's dead then we change the menu to three which is cell no good so what we need to do now is we need to draw or display menu two and three so Let's copy this. Uh, so there's two and there's three. So two and three. So the current menu in menu two would be two, of course, and three would be three. And in fact, it, what it means is we don't actually have to do this. We'll do it a slightly different way, but I'll show you that in a minute. So two and three. So we, what do we want it to say now? Uh, if the menu is two, then the voltage is whatever it is. Um, so again, I'm, I'm going to have to fiddle with this and get the the right positions for everything. But essentially, that's going to say uh, voltage, voltage, and press to start or press when ready. So yeah, press to start, press to start. So voltage, and that will be whatever voltage is, which is down here again. Uh, that will be here uh, we may need to make that string uh, I'm not too sure though yeah let's say string okay so voltage is whatever it is and press to start and if it's menu three, we want to say the cell's no good. So um, uh, cell is, you know, under voltage or whatever, something like that. Cell under voltage. Cell under voltage. And then um, what should this say? Press to return or something like that. Press to return. So there we have uh, menu two and three. So that should be okay. I'll look at the positions and I'll refine that and I'll show you in a in a minute. So anyway, display menu two, display menu three. So over here, we want to display menu two if it's good. Display menu two or display menu three if it's bad. And we should be good there. And yeah, let's give that a go and see what happens. Okay, I've actually got a small problem, a compile problem. 
and it says crosses initialization of float prov and what it means is that it's already initialized and that's pretty easy because I don't actually need that anyway I just need that bit so we'll put that in there and that will be sufficient so I'll re-upload now and we should be good so it's time to test this out now so to start with I'll just reset it and let's see what the screen does so it should say hello dot 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 insert cell and it does it's saying there it's a single focus insert cell now and press I'm ready so I've got a dead cell here uh, this is like one volt or something like that so if I just put this in so I've put the dead cell in which is yeah it's got about a volt or something so I'll restart so that it can you know have a fresh run so it says hello insert cell now and press when ready now this is a dead cell so if I press the button it should say the cell's no good or whatever the equivalent message is so it says cell under voltage press to return now we haven't actually programmed the return button yet but that was a good test anyway so I'm going to restart now and I'm going to put in a cell which has got good voltage and hopefully it will work I always struggle to get these cells out Here we go. so I've got this good one now this is about 4 volts or so so let's put it back in there we go and yeah this is 4 volts so I'll try it again so restart hello dot 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 insert cell now so it should say it's good yeah right voltage 3.43 hmm that's lower than I thought I'll just check that that's accurate with my voltmeter so 3.43 for some reason I thought it was 4 I don't know it is, it is about right my voltmeter is saying 3.5 so you know there's a tiny bit of discrepancy there but I can live with that you can refine it another time so anyway uh, the little test works so it, you know it's saying that the voltage is fine and if we were to continue now and press the button it will do nothing but that's where we're at now right so moving on now um, back in this uh, I don't know user input detecting uh, phase if you like um, if you're in menu 1 and you know the buttons pressed if the voltage is good we go to menu 2 if the voltage is not good we go to menu 3 so now if the buttons are pressed in either of those we do something else again so if the button is pressed in menu 2 then we move on to the drain screen which is menu 4 so um, so if pressed which is up here and we're in menu 2 then we go to menu 4 so 4 which of course doesn't exist yet but but there you go so we go to 4 now uh, in this menu here, menu 3, if we're in menu 3 and we get a press, then we go back to menu 1. So, menu 1. Menu 1. So now we need to make menu 4. So, menu 4 is the difficult one really, because this is the one that gets updated all the time. I'll leave menu 4 out for the time being. It does, however, need to have that though. So we do need to clear the display. We do need the current menu to be 4. But the rest of it, I think we'll not bother with because we'll let the actual uh, loop do that. Actually, I think I might need to add display display there as well. Um, probably, you know, to clear it. I'm not too sure though. Um, Let's re-upload and we'll see. Right, so it says insert cell now, press run ready. So this is with a cell. It says the voltage, press to start, and then we press start and it blanks off, which is right, that's what we need. So what happens now if uh, the cell voltage is low? So I'm going to simulate this by just taking the cell out. I'm attempting to, there we go. So it says insert cell now, press run ready. So there's no cell now. It says cell under voltage, press to return. So if I press that to return, I should go back to menu 1. 
yeah, insert cell now, press run ready. So now I'll add the cell back in and press run ready and it should go to the drain screen. Yeah. So there's the cell voltage press to start and that's the drain screen. So so far so good, let's carry on. Back to the code again. Right. Display menu four. So when you go down here and you display menu four, uh, what happens is that if we just forget about the uh, user interface or user detection, user input detection, if we just forget about that for now and go to the actual uh, code, um, when we're in menu one, in the actual loop, there's nothing to do. I mean, nothing gets processed in the loop. All we do in uh, menu one is just wait for user input. So we don't need to do anything there. That's all that does. Menu 2 is the same. We simply uh, show the voltage and we wait for user input. Uh, menu 3 is the same. There's no code to be, uh, or there's nothing to be carried out in, in the loop. Now in menu 4, there is something to do. And I actually think I'm going to forget about this paused code for the time being. So I'm going to say, um, well, in menu 4, over here, uh, where is it? Display menu four. We need to turn draining on. So there's a variable over here called draining, if I remember rightly. Draining, there we go. So draining needs to be true. So we'll go over here, draining, draining equals true. And that means basically start draining. Uh, right, so we've started the draining. So I think it's about time to uncomment this code now. So uh, how do I do this? I think it's control and slash. Uh, is it control and slash? Yeah, okay. I'll just do control T, control S to get it tidy. So if paused, um, you know, paused. But I'm thinking actually, would you really want to pause it? I don't, I'm not sure if you would. So let's, let's abandon the pause thing. Let's just abandon that. So get rid of the pause stuff, and the brace for it is there, so control T, control S. And now let's just review this code. So in menu 4, we've already turned draining on, so it should start draining. So at this point it'll say, complete LED pin is low, draining LED pin is high. Then it's got the current time, and then we start displaying the screen, and it's obviously display display. Then it gets all the details and it prints all those details to screen. Uh, it's somewhere in the amperage, just doing all that sort of stuff. Um, we've we've already been through this before, so I won't so I won't touch on that. And now here it's saying if the battery voltage is lower or equal three, then draining is false, and complete is true. So draining is false, complete is true, and then it's saying here. Uh, turn the draining pin off and let's say if complete so we're going to need to change something here and that will be obviously going to the next menu so um, right now in menu 4 we don't want any user input we don't expect any user input so no user input here there's no user input, the input or you know the output or, what, or however you want to see it um, is done by the Arduino. So uh, display menu 5 we need next. Uh, display menu 5. And that will clear the display, 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 uh, current menu equals 5. Right now, at this point, it, for menu five, this is where we need to switch everything off and do all that sort of stuff. So we need to, we'll cut that out. Right. So if battery voltage is less or equal three, then draining is false, and complete is true. Right. And here, really. This is where we need to uh, call the uh, the method that will write menu five. So let's go back over here. 
menu four, menu five. So clear display, draining equals true. That should not equal true. Now let's see what this other code was. So if complete the LCD stuff here, right? We know it's complete at this stage, so we'll take those off. Um, and let's go back down, see if there's anything else we've missed. So draining equals false, complete equals true. Right, draining LED pin low. So we can we can actually take all of that away and put it in this method over here. So let's put it here. So draining equals false, complete equals true. Then set the draining pin low to turn the MOSFET off. A draining equals true, that I don't know what that's for. Then transistor pin. Ah right, draining LED pin, that's for the LED to say it's draining. So obviously it draining's finished. So we'll move that to here. It's complete, so we want to well, we'll move that over to there as well. It's complete, so the complete pin is now high. Control T, Control S that. And now we need to show the summary. Display menu 5. So let's just see if there's anything else that I may have missed. Right. Battery voltage. Okay. So display menu 5. That will go here. And let's move that up. And that's that. Battery voltage is less or equal to 3. Then display menu 5. And then in menu 5, just to be sure, it says current menu is 5. Draining is false. So set the LEDs and all that sort of stuff. Complete is true. And 